Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be filming my November book haul. This month is actually like a reasonable sized book haul. It's not like crazy like the last few months have been. I don't have like 30 books here. I have maybe like 20-ish. I'm really excited about all these books, so let's just jump right into it. First book I want to show you is my book of the month selection for the month of November. I am a book of the month ambassador, and they actually just changed their ambassador program, so now ambassadors only select one of the five options. So for this month, I ended up choosing Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, and this one is like an adult fantasy novel that takes place on a college campus and it's supposed to be very, very like dark and moody and stuff. I did attempt to get into this book. I actually read about 17 whole pages of it and I just don't know if this is going to be for me. The next books I'll show you all came from Booksparks so they sent me four books this month. The first one is going to be Raven Lane by Amber Cowley. I feel like this one's kind of like a thriller-ish vibe because it says the truth can bring out the worst in the best of friends. Then the next one they sent is Reputation by Sarah Shepard. And this one also, I feel like it's kind of like a thriller vibe one because it says this university is polished and prestigious institution, home to an elite student body and a top hospital. There's a hack in the entire faculty, staff, student, and email and uh, Aloom email accounts that reveals the lies lurking beneath the school's perfect veneer and rumors and scandals explode. Told from multiple points of views, reputation is a perfectly plotted story of intrigue, sabotage, and the secrets we keep and how far we go to keep them hidden. Ooh, this one actually sounds pretty good and it's blurbed by Caroline Kepnes, who's one of my favorite authors, and Sarah Pekinen, who wrote An Anonymous Girl, which is one of my favorite thrillers. I really like this cover too. I like the combination of this color of pink with like the blue. This one sounds really good and look at that spine. Ah, it's beautiful. And then the other two books that they sent is Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher and Regretting You by Colleen Hoover, which I have actually received arcs of both of these books from the publishers, so I have read both of these. Wasn't a huge fan of Not the Girl You Marry, but was a really big fan of Regretting You by Colleen Hoover, so I'm really excited to finally own this one, like the finished copy of it, because the finished copy has like texture to it, you know what I mean? But yeah, this one's really great, and this one... Uh, not so great, <laughs> but still really appreciate all the books from Booksparks. This was the end of their like fall campaign, the Hit the Book Club campaign. This was the last of it for this year. And then next up, Avon Books and William Morrow Books sent this really cute like Christmas themed package, which included four books and it included a bunch of like little goodies and stuff. The books that were included in that package was We Met in December by Rosie Curtis. 25 Days Till Christmas by Poppy Alexander, How the Duke Stole Christmas, and Wrapped Up in You. Actually incredibly excited to read We Met in December and 25 Days Till Christmas, hopefully next month, because I do want to read more like festive books for the season, you know, to like get me into the Christmas spirit and all that. I really want to read We Met in December because people are comparing this one to like the flat share, and even though I didn't really like the flat share, I liked the concept of it. And that is that two people are sharing the same house. And yeah, I don't know. It's a romance and it's We Met in December and it looks cute. So hoping to read this one in December. And then 25 Days Till Christmas. This one's also a romance novel because it's about this girl who like used to love Christmas. But then her husband was in the army and then he never came home. And now she like can't stay in December and like Christmas time because she gets so sad and like so lonely. When the path of the loneliest woman in town crosses that of the loneliest man, these two destined hearts might find a way to save the holiday for both of them. Cute romance. I don't know. Really excited to read this one too. It sounds cute. Hopefully it's cute. All right. The next two that I got were both from Berkeley and these are two books that I'm like so freaking excited about and so like happy to own these. The first one is going to be The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. This one is actually an ARC copy and this one goes on sale February 18th next year. And this one was like in my most anticipated books of 2020 video if I don't know if you saw that. And so I was so freaking stoked to receive an arc of this and i'm planning on reading this one as soon as humanly possible like as soon as buzz word readathon is done i'm probably gonna end up reading this one next it takes place in new york which is you know my thing and then it says it takes place upstate new york 1982 and then it also takes place upstate new york 2017 and we're going back and forth in time periods kind of like this author's last book the broken girls that's like one of my favorite creepy spooky thrillers that one also does like the 
previous like past time and then the now present time and it goes back and forth too. This girl in 1982, she works as the night clerk at the Sundown Motel in New York to pay for her to move to New York City, but something isn't right at the motel and she's just she's determined to uncover the secrets hidden there. And then in 2017, it follows this other girl who's been always fascinated by her aunt who disappeared from the sundown motel before she was born and so like that's the girl that was working at the hotel she like disappeared i don't know but it just sounds so good and i really 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 want to read this one soon i'm just i'm so excited and then the next one they sent is dune by frank herbert and this one is a classic novel that they got like re they like republished it with this like special collector's edition and this book is freaking beautiful look at that it has blue edges like oh my god when you take this off there's like drawings on the end papers and there's drawings on the freaking dust jacket and look at that ah, look at the spine it's freaking gold and there's like imprinted text on the front that says fear is the mind killer and like holy crap dude i'm so excited to read this like this one is going to be on my 2020 tbr because there's no freaking way I'm gonna get through this this December, but it's just so cool. It says, in the far future on a remote planet, an epic saga awaits. This is Frank Herbert's classic masterpiece, a triumph of the imagination and one of the best-selling science fiction novels of all time. And I'm so excited to eventually read this, even though like epic sci-fi isn't like super my thing, but this book is getting adapted into a movie next year. And Denis Villeneuve is the director who is Possibly my favorite director, like he directed Blade Runner 2049 and Arrival and just like so many of my favorite movies. So I really want to read this before the adaptation comes out because I'm so excited. <laughs> Next up, Atria Books sent me an ARC copy of In Five Years by Rebecca Surley. They actually sent me two copies because they're just kind like that. This book is actually one of the books that I ended up reading for the Buzzword Readathon, so I have read it already. This book is an ARC copy and it goes on sale March 3rd next year. And this book was also included in my like most anticipated of 2020 videos, so so stoked to have this in my possession, honestly. And this one, look at this cover. Do you see that gold shimmer of New York City? Like the skyline, the Statue of Liberty, like, oh, it's just beautiful. And this one is a romantic story and it follows this girl who's working as a lawyer in New York City. On the night that she gets engaged to her boyfriend, she wakes up five years into the future in 2025. She's laying next to a man that isn't her fiance and she's in a different apartment and she's like really confused about like who this is and what's going on and then as soon as she's like there it's like in an instant she's back in her old life and she's trying to figure out like if that was a glimpse into her future and like who this man possibly is this book was really really cute i think like if you go into it thinking it's going to be this crazy like time travel story like it's really not it's really just a contemporary romance story with a little hint of like something mysterious like that but this book was really cute it really centers on this really adorable female female friendship between our main character and her best friend since childhood Bella like they're just really really cute and yeah this book was great so <laughs> So thank you to Atria for sending me a copy of this. All right, the next book I got sent was actually from the author, Abigail Johnson, and she sent me an ARC copy of Every Other Weekend. This book was actually also included in my most anticipated books of 2020 video, and she actually saw that video, and then she reached out, and, and she was like, would you like an ARC copy of the book? And I was like, what? Yes! So she was kind enough to send me this art copy. This one actually goes on sale January 7th, so pretty much like right at the start of 2020. And this one was one of my most anticipated because it's this like young adult romance novel that follows this girl who wants to be a director for films. So that's like kind of why I wanted to read it. And it also has like that trope of like these two broken characters like finding hope in each other again kind of because the main dude, his older brother died recently. Her parents are getting divorced and I don't know, it's just like, it says for fans of Morgan Matson and Casey West. And so I'm hoping that I'll love this. And this book is 
500 pages. So I guess it is kind of in the tradition of a Morgan Madsen novel because she writes insanely long, you know, young adult contemporaries. I'm really hoping I love this and I'm hoping to read this either next month or I might save this one for January. All right, the next book I received was actually from Jacqueline. Her kind soul sent me a book this month in the mail and that was Eleanor and Gray by Brittany C. Cherry. And she is so freaking sweet because she sent this along with a bunch of other like cute little goodies and stuff. And she's just so freaking nice. Like I can't even deal with it. And in this, she sent a bunch of like cute post-it notes that she wrote in here while she read it. And it just made it so much fun to read this month because she actually like, it felt like I was reading it with her, you know, because of all of her little post-its. It's basically a new adult romance. I don't know if it's new adult actually, I don't know. I've read a lot of Britney C. Cherry and so I was really expecting to love this one and I did. It basically follows these two characters, Eleanor and Gray, and it follows them from when they meet when they're teenagers and something tragic happens in their lives when they're teenagers and then they kind of like lose touch and then years later they're like brought together again under interesting circumstances and their their lives are always like surrounded by a tragedy but they always are able to rely on each other through those tragedies and it's just freaking beautiful and i cried a lot and yeah you'll hear more about it in my wrap-up but it was great so Thank you, Jacqueline, for sending it to me. I'm so appreciative of you. All right, and then the last book that I was sent this month is The Artist's Retreat by Brooke Bailey. And this was also kindly sent to me by the author. And it's about this girl who's an artist and she also happens to be the daughter of a convicted murderer. Oh, that's so interesting. So she turns to art therapy after discovering her father's victims, creating their likenesses through sculpture as a means of healing herself and honoring their lives. And then there's this girl that disappears and I don't know, that sounds pretty interesting. So yeah, definitely might have to check this one out soon as well. All right, and then the last three books are books that I bought for myself this month. So the first one I got is Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter. And this is actually one that I got when I was in New York at Strand Bookstore. And this one is really cool because it's a Strand signed edition. So in the front of this, the author like wrote this whole note to the reader. And like, it's just so cool. Like I've never seen a book like that before. I've seen like author signatures and stuff before in books like that, but never like an entire note that's like personalized to the reader kind of, you know, like it was just so cool. I wanted to get this one because I read Pretty Girls in October and I really, really enjoyed it. And so I've been wanting to read more Karen Slaughter. And I know that this one is actually becoming a Netflix series in the next year, I believe. And so this one is another adult thriller. Again, don't know too much about this one either, but I don't really know if I want to know too much. Um, I'll just read that very top blurb. It just says, what if the person you thought you knew best turns out to be someone you never knew at all? So it kind of sounds like it might be kind of like Pretty Girls, honestly, because like that would describe Pretty Girls pretty well. This part just says, mother, hero, liar, killer. How can you tell when all you have is pieces of her? Ooh, so maybe it's about a girl whose like mom is a serial killer or something. Anyways, I don't know too much about this and I don't want to know too much going in because it's a thriller, but hopefully I'll be reading this one soon. I mean, the last Karen Slaughter book was pretty hard for me to stomach, so like, I don't know how soon I'm planning on reading this one. And this one's nearly 500 pages, like this one's pretty thick. So maybe I'll have to save this one for January, but I'm really, really excited to read this one. All right, and then the last two books are books that I bought off of Amazon, and I actually bought them with the intent to read them for the Buzzword Readathon, and I did read both of these for the Buzzword Readathon. So the first one is The One by John Mars, and this one is like a sci-fi thriller novel that takes place in this future where you can take a DNA test to find your soulmate or like the one that you're supposed to be with. And it's the same author as The Passengers, which is one of my other favorite books from this year. And this book was so freaking good. And you'll hear more about it in my wrap up, but like I'm obsessed. And then the last book I got was 30 Days, 30 Dates in 30 Days by L. Spencer. And this one is a female female romance that I read during Buzzword Readathon and it was great. <laughs> it basically follows this girl named Veronica who's living in New York City. Hey, I've been reading so many books lately that take place in New York City and it's great. So Veronica is making partner at this huge law firm in New York City and she's doing this program where she's gonna do 30 dates within 30 days on this new like lesbian dating app thing. Rachel, her her love interest is actually the bartender at the restaurant where she's taking all of these women for her dates. <laughs> she's a bartender at night and then a wedding photographer by day. They're just so cute. Like they just have so much cute banter and I just really shipped their relationship so hard. And yeah, 
Um, you'll hear more about this in my wrap-up as well, but this was so cute. Those are all of the books that I hauled in November. Again, I feel like this was more of a reasonably sized book haul, like it wasn't too crazy or anything like that. 18 books! I just counted. It's 18 books. That's awesome. Because like, I don't, I don't want to be hauling like all of the books every month, you know? Like 18 books is a perfect amount for me. So yeah, that concludes this book haul. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you have any thoughts on any of these books like if you've read any of them let me know what you think of them or what you're most excited about thank you guys so much for watching as always and i will see you guys soon with a new video bye